Well, my tea is too hot to drink. So I'm just sitting here. I've hurt the middle of my back. You know, do you ever find that when you reach forward to do the dishes, you end up with this pain right in the center of your back? You're supposed to put your arm in a doorway and lean it against the door frame and bend away from it, and that will stretch the, the pec muscles in the front, which then does something good to the, to the center of your back. Anyway, it's hurting a lot, so I just have to sit here. Oh, that helped. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that. It may still hurt, but it's not, but it's not bad. Anyway, so, hello, hello. Well, we were together this morning, a bunch of us. It was fun. I made soup, more of what I made yesterday. I was going to have to, I don't know how to separate those videos. That would be good to be able to divide some of these live videos into parts. If anybody knows how to do that, if you could t message me and let me know or comment. <sighs> well, it's it's gotten really warm out there today. Let's look at this. Can you can you see it? When you look at this when you look outdoors, can you see that it doesn't look as as cold. You can just tell looking at it. The trees are darker. When it's really, really cold, the trees are really light. Everything is quite light. But the moisture now shows up as darker. It keeps trying to snow, but it's not on the forecast for snowing. Not that that really matters. But it's really, really much warmer. I was thinking of going for a walk, but I have to wait for my back to stop hurting. Willem helped me get the cupboard doors back on. I took the cupboard doors off. Well, he helped me take the cupboard doors off yesterday, and I added another shelf. And I was going to add another shelf to um, the next cupboard. A lot of these cupboards have only one shelf, and it doesn't really work for me. I need to have two shelves. My daughter, Scarlett, likes to put her shelves right above. Like if she's got teacups, then they will be right above the height of the teacups. And then the next one will be right above the height of the jars or whatever it is. There's not like one shelf and you have different level things in it. She's very organized about that. She'll have one cupboard specifically for an appliance. So everything is measured before she builds it or puts it together. Well, now my shoulder is my back hurts again. Let's see if I can do that again. I'll, there's nothing to push against. But you, if you put your arm back and you turn, it's supposed to help. You have to have your arm up like that at the square. And you turn away from it to make your back stop hurting. I'll try it here. Hmm. Oh, I can really feel it pulling. So that must be helping. Nobody's here. I've been here almost four minutes and nobody's here. Comment when you get here. So it's um, about one o'clock, five after one. I've been cleaning my house, cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and doing all these projects. And I got the children's bedroom clean. Desmond's room is now, all the toys are put away. It's much more tidy. I even rolled up all the paper. He had draped paper all over, you know, like decorating paper. What's that called? For birthday parties? Streamers. So I rolled up all the streamers. That was nice. I sat outside on the upper deck for a while while I did that. And so I'm about, I got the measuring tape in. I'm about to measure the next cupboard to see how to cut the, the boards. I guess I have to also measure the depth because on the last one, the depth was, the depth was, the depth, the depth of the top shelf was wrong. I think that the wall behind is crooked. So I didn't cut the shelf quite right. 
Oh, well. But it works. The, the cupboard door closes now. I also put a little bit of food out for the deer. Just a handful. I put it on the snow right next to the deck. Hopefully I'll be able to watch them out there. Should probably put some on the table further away. Some of them are, they don't like to get too close to the house. Especially if the house has a lot of noises. Still nobody there. Five and a half minutes. Interesting. Hey, there's another flurry. Another snowflake. Oh, or maybe it was some chickadees. I fed the chickadees under the um, what's that place called? The, the breezeway. Oh, hi, Ting Tong. Sam Smythe. How are you? You don't usually say much except your name. Where are you? And what brings you over here today? A major winter storm will spread snow, some ice from the Midwest into the South and East today through... That was all. Now it's gone. <laughs> I think that was a Twitter. Does anybody use Twitter? I like Twitter. I've, I don't tweet friends. I tweet, um, uh, my tweets, not my tweets, but the ones I follow, those are all news places and, you know, weather and earthquakes and climate, global warming and Arctic stuff. That's the sort of stuff I follow. You know, do you play Minecraft? Sam Smythe? Smith? Smythe. If it's got an E on the end, it says its name. The I says its name, right? So it'd be Smythe. So I play Minecraft. And yesterday I built, um, I built a nice little, kind of a little resort spot on the edge of the water on a bit of a sand, a sandy island, a small island. And I made a bathroom with the automatic shower. You push the button. The button had to go really high. I, my my redstone behind it, I'm not sure exactly where I should have put it, but maybe my redstone goes too far. Maybe I should have ended it where I've got the... Anyway, and then I built a wall on the outside of the redstone because the redstone has to be on steps, you know. You can't just have it up a straight wall. So I built this wall out there, and so when you go outside and you look at this place, this building, one wall is completely... Oh, you thumbed up. Thanks, Sam. Um, if there's any more people here, please comment so I can we can have a community conversation, and you can talk to each other. I don't mind. It's good for people to get to know each other. Especially if you guys like me, then you probably like each other, because you probably all have lots in common. But... Um, so I have this plain wall, and I wanted to do something with the wall. And you can put banners on, but I, I wanted to make a picture on the wall, like a mural. Is there any way to make a mural in Minecraft? I could put vines on it. That would look pretty. But I have to, I have to figure this out. I really want to do that. Usually I play with my grandson in Ottawa. He's, he's just turned another year. He's still young. And I... He, they don't have school now because school's shut down. He got a bunch of new games for Christmas, so he's not so interested in playing Minecraft with me as he was. This is my Vancouver cup from the Capilano Bridge. That was an awesome bridge. I want to build something like that here. So I've been thinking of taking down the zip line. You know the zip line, right? It's been there for probably 20 years. But if I let one side go, it's going to snap. I mean, it's going to whip. And it's pretty long, and I don't want it to whip the house and break the windows. Maybe I should... I know what I could do. I could tie something. I could tie a rope around the zip line and tie it to some trees. Every tree along the way, I could tie it. I think it'll immediately get shorter as soon as I let it go. I'm a little worried about how to do that. I don't want it to whip and hit something and wreck it. 
but I'd like to use it. It's 250 feet long, and I'd like to use it for, um, I'd like to have a zip line. That would be fun to have a zip line from beside the deck. From beside the deck onto the zip line. And then I could I could zip line right over to the Deer Meadow. Wouldn't that be fun? Deer Meadow is the top of the ridge over there. And we have a great valley right beside the house. This is a really amazing spot. I should, I should make more use of that hillside. It's a really beautiful hillside, and whenever I'm on it, I'm always improving the pathways. The deer use the pathways over there. You know what I really should work on? Is my pottery studio. I should really get it, get it going in there. I've got some clay that's been in the house melting. I need to wedge it, and then I could take it down there and I could work in my studio. Wouldn't that be fun? But you can't come. I have to do it when you're not online because I don't have any reception in there. I'm looking forward to the day that the reception out here is so much better. The little village nearby has, good, has a new tower. But it's only good for five minutes away, five minutes driving away. But we live about 10 to 12 minutes away, so we don't get it here. We have another village three kilometers away. And they have a tower there, but it's a bell tower, and they should probably upgrade it. Oh, the one in the village was a bell tower, too. I guess you should phone and ask, right? But we were the first ones to get high speed. Now it's low speed compared to the rest. I would like to go in the studio and play in there. But I'd also like to f clean up my sunroom. My sunroom is a storage, a tool storage and everything. And there's not a lot of stuff in it anymore. I mean, there is, but I mean, it's pretty full. But a lot of things in there are fluffy that can be packed down, maybe stored somewhere else. A lot of stuff I don't need that's in there. A lot of stuff I don't use. There's boxes in there for if you have to return something. They could be flattened. If I have to return something, I could always put the box back together, couldn't I, with tape? Is this still you, Sam? Anybody else there? It's nice to stop and have a cup of tea. This is nettle tea. Nettle with a bit of uh, lemongrass. So as per suggestions from this morning or yesterday, I have put cinnamon and cloves and apple no orange peels in the in the pot on the wood stove. That's quite nice. It's supposed to smell, but can't smell it yet. I also put some balsam needles in there. I have a whole bag of balsam needles. I was going to make sachets out of them and give them to people. A really nice smell. And I've had them for many years. This was from, remember the Christmas porch forest? Years ago, I had a, had 15, had a small deck, a little deck, and I put 15 Christmas trees on it. I decorated them with lots of, a whole house worth of lights went on those 15 trees, and it was so beautiful. And I had a rain chain. You know, this cup looks a little, it's all dried leaves. I reuse it. I have a, I have a, a hot water pot, a teapot, a tea, what is it called? Where it's an, in, you know, you plug it in, you turn it on and it heats your water. A teapot? No. Anyway, I have one of those in the bathroom up here and I have a big jar of nettles with it. It looks like it's getting dark out. Doesn't it look like it's getting dark out to you? You know, I could I could start weaving on these daffodil or dandelion. I have all these the whole basket is full of dandelion stems. Oops. And I started it years ago. Well maybe it was last year. Hey, yeah, you're too close. 
Sorry about that. Thanks for thumbing up. That's very kind of you. I could start working on that and sit around and do that. If I sit in front of the television, I'll watch television and maybe get my Minecraft wall. I want to, you know, Minecraft is a very interesting game. If you want to do something with your time, if you're, if you're stuck in a chair or something, like in Minecraft, you can build and you can go inside of what you build and look up and look around. And so I built the house that my son grew up in. And I took him in there, and I showed him. And he says, I remember this place. That was really cool. I want to, you know, you can make a staircase that disappears, that you turn the handle and then it pops out. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can do in there. And I want to do something on the outside of this building. But I'm not sure what. I have a I have a kitchen table and I have a a stove and food on the table and on the stove and I have a sink of water and actually two sinks. And I have a little sitting area where you can sit and look outside at the beautiful view of the water. And what else do I have in there? I have a bedroom with two beds, one for me and one for my grandson. And I put a big chest in between. I thought, he's always trying to give me enchanted stuff. He always wants me to have an enchanted sword, an enchanted this, an enchanted that. So I should probably put an enchantment table in there. And then just fill up that chest with enchanted stuff so that it's done. So that whenever I need something, I can go and get it there. But you have to be careful when you're playing with a child because they'll fly overhead and put lava on everything and burn it all up. A lot of what I build now is not made of wood, but this house is all wood. I've connected, you know, you get lost. Oh, three people. Hi. Introduce yourselves. Say who you are. Do I know you? <sighs> it's nice to have friends, isn't it? And this is a great community. If you talk to one another, you'll get to know each other. So I was just talking about Minecraft and my, my awesome, oh look, four people, hi. So I was talking about my Minecraft house. And in Minecraft, it's easy to get lost. You go flying off somewhere and it's hard to figure out where you went. Or you go walking, you know, anywhere, it's whole thing. And so I have learned from the very beginning to, to make pathways from one place to the next or to make if we're using creative mode, which I like, to make... Oh, hi, Marie. Nice to see you. Oh, how nice. How's the weather out there in the West? Hope you're getting rain. But not too much. Not too much. There was a short. When the Toronto Film Festival had a short season, a group of short movies, and one of them had this politician, and he was talking away, and then he said this thing, he says, but not too much. And the way he said it was so neat. It was just, it was so funny. I think he was French. He was lauding his appeal to the public, something like that. It was years ago. <clears throat> so I was just saying it's kind of it's kind of cloudyish, well very cloudy here, but look how dark it is out there. It's only 20 after 2. And that's what it looks like, dark. It might snow. I've been working on my garden. I've got things growing over there. Mostly those are sprouts that I'm eating up. And this part, I'm waiting for all the soil to thaw. I have all these buckets. I, in the summertime, I was planning on the winter. And, and I, ha I sent a lot of buckets of soil in the house. I asked Willem to carry them up for me. And then they all went on the balcony. And I was using this room for sorting out papers from my mother's estate. See, there's all the, some more papers and papers there. And there's a whole stack between the tables. Anyway, this box of letters is really cool. I should make a video of those one day. 
Those are letters from one ancestor to others. And they're all dated. High of 60s, low 40s in Northern California. And lovely sunshine today, too. Must be hard to go in the house when it's like that. I don't stay inside when it's beautiful outside. So this is really good for me that I'm getting things done. I've been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of tidying up lately. Except my back hurts now. I invited the grandchildren to come over, but they're busy. I thought about them a lot when I cleaned the bedroom up for them. They had left all their toys everywhere. You know, it was interesting the other day when Desi was here and he was being naughty and I sent him to his room. And it was really cool to have a room to send him to. They've got their own bedrooms up here, but they're also my rooms, you know. I've, we use his room to store dried fruits and dried vegetables, cases and cases of them. And we use Maya's room, the closets I use in there. Hmm. So I sorted some of these stacks of papers in groups of who they're about. Or who, yeah. But I haven't finished. Oh well, another time, another summer or winter, or maybe another day, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Who knows? Do you ever know what you're going to do in the future? It's really hard for me to plan things like that. Planning is the P word, and the M word is moderation. Those never really were good. My father used to say moderation, moderation, and it was like, huh? I've never been moderate in anything. If I make videos, I make a million videos. <clears throat> if I make birdhouses, I make a million. Do you do that? How come there's no more water in here? I could go put some more in, but that would mean I would have to get up. I don't feel like getting up right now. Look, five people and two thumbs ups. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, did you come on here because you just happened to see it on YouTube somewhere? Oh, grateful. Hello. Nice to see you. Where is that? GJ3. You said it was joyful, but it looks more like grateful. G8 full. Grateful. Anyway, and you always say such nice spiritual things. Oh, you've been watching them. Why are cleaning videos so satisfying? I guess because it's something that you do, right? It's something that we each do in our lives, or we put it off. I've been doing a lot of cleaning and adding shelves here and there. I have my measuring tape ready. I have to go and measure this next shelf and put it in. I have this cupboard, and in it are two boxes. And one box is... Um, one box is full of things that belong in a bathroom, like medical things. And the other one is a box of cleaning supplies. And I don't use cleaning supplies. I buy them. I don't use them. Maybe my house would be a lot cleaner if I used them. I would like to try washing the wooden floor downstairs. I'd like to try waxing it. But wax turns gray or something. It turns dull. And then you have to use ammonia to remove it. And or wax remover. It's sort of like a make work project. I should probably should probably paint it with varnish, you know, so that things it won't get wet and ruined. I did that in my house years ago. I had a house and I sanded all the floors. I really want to sand the stairs. I think I need to get a belt sander. And I think a belt sander would make very quick work of it. A belt sander and a vacuum cleaner beside it on so that it would suck everything up or a belt sander with a bag on it. I don't want to turn the house dusty but it would be really nice if those stairs looked better than they look right now. I had a carpet on them when I moved here. I didn't have it on there but eventually I took it off. Part of it came loose and so you would fall on that part because it didn't go down and over it just kind of went straight and so everybody would trip on that. So I took it up and that was okay. It was pretty filthy. But that means that we don't have a carpet on there. I have this awesome rug I made, which is made out of mop yarn. Red, no, pink, and dark blue and light blue. 
and I, it was the leftover yarn from a factory. And I made, I wove it, belt sander on a bag would be a good idea. Yes, I think I have to go and buy one. I used to have a belt sander. I don't think I have it anymore. I haven't seen it in years. But then maybe I do still have it somewhere. Maybe I should look for it. How about a grinder with a the belt that goes over the thing that goes around? But see, you can't get in the corners with them. But those little palm sanders just don't do much of anything. It'll take forever. Today would be a good day to go to the store. It's not a beautiful day, but it's warm. It's like plus, well, it's not minus one or something. Zero, freezing, right? Just freezing, hovering. But and it was supposed to snow a little bit, forty percent chance, but. Oh, I know what I should do. I should take the snowblower and put it in the trailer and deliver it to the snowblower fixer. Because if it does snow, I'm going to really need that, won't I? It's nice to go along with no snow, but it doesn't last. And whatever we get, we'll get a lot of. So it could be that we'll get one of those atmospheric rivers from the Arctic, which will give us two feet of snow, and then we'll be stuck without a snowblower. Or a deck to walk on. I'll have to shovel it all. Working on more food storage today. I enjoy your discussions on food storage. Love hearing ideas from others. The Bishop Store has been very good to us over the past several decades. So that's what I was doing this morning. Is that what you're referring to? I did get out a can of onions and a can of carrots, dried, and I put them in gallon jars. It was kind of hard to get those lids off. My goodness. Yeah, Bishop's Storehouse is really good, and I think the whole world can use it. And the stuff there is very cheap. If you look it up, it's under the Church of Jesus Christ, and it's um, the Bishop's Storehouse, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. These are the last days. Anybody else think so? <laughs> it's a little obvious out there, isn't it? Everything's falling apart out there. But... There is much to be looking forward to. The future is bright. That's what the prophet says, and he's standing on the on the watchtower. He can see into the future. The future is bright. Don't let the negative drag you down. The negative is very interesting. There's a lot of negative stuff going on out there. But, you know, it's better to focus on the positive because then you'll be happy. So I wonder if I should get something else done. But my back still hurts. I wonder how long my back is going to hurt for. But if I go for a walk and I swing my arms, my back will feel better. It is a nice day. It would be a nice day to go down and sit by the in the A-frame by the stream. Did I tell you I saw a fisher the other day? I have to go to my son's in Ottawa and upload that video. It was a big, long fisher. It was a over a foot long, maybe a foot and a half long, and he was probably, mm, what's that? One, two, three, maybe four and a half, five inches across wide. And his tail, you know, it, it comes down to almost nothing, but he's a, a sleek animal. He's like a, a, and they bound, so whenever they go somewhere, they, they bound with their feet leaping two feet at a time. So you have tracks, two front feet and two back feet. And they generally, the back feet generally go into the front footprints, I believe, or just behind them. Yes, if there's going to be, if there be any good report, think on those things. That's right, I love that one. That's the, uh, whatsoever is honest, true, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, lovely, or of good report, think ye on those things. And especially thinking about what you're grateful for, which really should be absolutely everything. Because if you think about Adam and Eve, and they had nothing when they got cast out of the garden, zip, zero, zip, gazillion. So everything that you have in your house, someone has made it. You or someone else. Is that in Philippians? It's also the 13th article of faith. The, the tenets of our beliefs are written down and that's the, the 13th 
you have to learn them when you're a little child. You have 13 of them and you have to memorize them to graduate from primary to young men or young women. We haven't had those. We haven't had we don't have many kids in our in our branch. We've got a very small congregation. And we all seem to be quite old now. I mean, if you think I'm old. So what have you guys been working on? I lost one of the screws today. That's all, that's amazing. That's wonderful, Marie. Wow, to use all the equipment to put your stuff into cans. Or, or was it in bags? What did you say? Um, that's really cool. And now you can you can go in again and buy things. I think the things are in bags. It's a cannery, right? So they you can put things in number ten tin cans. It's very interesting to see how a a, a lid fits on a can. And how it's, it actually, the lid bends over the edge. So you've got your container, which is like this, and the lid goes around like that. So I couldn't get one of them op to open up today, so I ended up just pulling the lid off. <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit difficult, but and it didn't come off all the way, but that's okay because I ended up putting all my stuff into a jar anyway. <sighs> This is my view. Sometimes I see animals over there in the distance. Sometimes I used to see a porcupine. There's a big tree on the corner back in there behind that little building. That's my little studio, my little art studio. There was a big tree, a hemlock back in there. It used to be a porcupine that would sit up there. I'm sure there's videos of the porcupine. There's videos of everything. I've been doing this a long time, haven't I? And that tree there, that green tree there, that's a pine. And it now is taller than the zip line. You can see the, let me see, you can see the zip line it goes through the pine. It's below, below those red things, hundreds of pounds of dried food. That is so cool. It's so cool to have all that dried food, isn't it? I've got the hiccups now. Oh, look, this is how I can show you. So there's a little tiny line right there. Oops, right there. And that's the zip line. But now this pine tree is so tall that it goes right through the pine. So it's definitely going to either wreck the pine or wreck you if you go through it. But the hill comes up. So when you are when you're going along the zip line, you end up running up the hill at the end, which is perfect. I know, isn't it amazing too? <gasps> and I don't go out in there very often. We don't own on the other side of the fence. So I try not to go there too much. Oh hi Regina. Nice that you're back. <clears throat> oh, Susan, you're back too. You made it back for now. I have a person coming to pick you up here for now. My day is made. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, I really don't have a lot to say. I'm just rattling on. But it looks dark enough to snow, doesn't it? Except for my light over here. I love these lights. When I had them wire the house, I thought this room, I wanted lights. So I was never sit in the darkness. I have lights up here behind me too. There's lights there and light there and lights up there and over on the wall, everywhere. It's nice to see you again, Regina. I'm sorry for all the trouble that you've been having lately. It's good to Get your mind off things. Well, here I am reminding you of it all. But anyway, I, I feel for you. I, I know things are difficult sometimes. That's life, eh? 
Life is full of trials, one trial to the next. We just go from, ah, I got the hiccups, I need to drink water upside down. Have you ever done that? How do you get rid of your hiccups? I have, ah, I have more hot water in my tea kettle. Tea kettle, is that what it's called? What if it's electric kettle? But a kettle is a different shape than these tall things. Mm. So Susan is in Wisconsin. Love them anyway, is in California. <gasps> Oops, sorry. Grateful, where are you? In the Midwest? I don't remember. I'm Regina. I don't remember where you are. Um, you're welcome. It's 40 there. It's about 32 here. No sun. The sun was out yesterday. It was negative 20. I drink in gulps to get rid of hiccups. Well, I think I think the time has come that I have to get rid of these hiccups. Let's see. And Re Regina, you're in Wisconsin too, right? Is that right? Mm. Hey, you want to see? You've been watching since Abe was a freshman in high school. Ah, oh, look at this. Look how clean it is in here now. Whoa, I even did the books. Tidied up and it needs to be vacuumed. This was where I was standing years ago and I saw the first beaver I ever saw here. I have all these little things I've also sorted. That's garbage, I think, but these are little catkins. Little pieces of straw, little sticks, um, broccoli seed pods, a battery, of course, and um, what is that called? Wal walnut shells and chestnuts. And these are little tiny catkin pods, and those are big. So somehow, through all of this, the idea is you take this and you make a little person. Or something uh, but I have no ideas I've looked at them online and seen what some people have done I looked on Pinterest you know like you these would be arms perhaps arms or but you need a person in there so maybe that would be the bottom and this would be this would be the top this would be the head something that all right, let's get rid of these hiccups. I'll show you how it's done. It's too hot. Mm. Okay. Okay. How to get rid of the hiccups. So now, I have to turn you around and put you here, oops, so you can see. Okay, and now we're going to drink it from the back, wrong side of the cup. And I believe that will have done the trick. So now I'll just get... Oh, wait! It didn't work! Huh! I still have the hiccups. Okay, we'll do it again. Must not have drunk enough. <clears throat> it always works. Imagine not working. Just when I'm showing off. Right. We'll see if it worked. You're supposed to stand on your head. Look, snow, sleet, freezing rain. That's the Weather Channel tweeted. 
She's a nice little basket. Oh, look, Desmond wrote on it. Put his name on it. Isn't that neat? I wonder what it's like for these children. I mean, they're not really interested in any of this stuff. But some bark is worse than others. <laughs> hey, look, I haven't. Tr yeah, it worked. Yes, I made that. Yes, and and see the little the little rim. So of course it's coming apart. I have I have birch trees, so I make things. You made tiny little knitting baskets with walnuts, making tiny balls out of thin yarn and pins, and with round heads for the needles for ornaments. Hey, oh, he wrote on both sides of it. Well, I guess this belongs in his room then, obviously, because he's claimed it. See how clean it is here? They decorated this room, or he did one day. He used this and he draped it everywhere. He had it stuck in between the jars. Oh, and these are his papers. This is Abe's stuff. Abe's head things. I wonder if they still work. I mean, Abe didn't want them anymore. But I wonder if they don't work or if they're just not as perfect as he likes them. Look at them all. Yeah, what's this? A magnetic flashlight. Huh, and a lid. The lid goes downstairs. Want to see the quickest way to get it downstairs? Whee! And this is a magnetic flashlight. I should put this by the bed here for, for Desmond so he can use the flashlight if he wants in the night. They even have some of their Lego here. I thought that I thought that this would be good for Maya. She's really good at art. So's Desmond, but I don't know. Should go in her room, I guess. But this is the room that has all the books. Look at this. Beat the parents. Ask the kids, my favorite type of laundry to fold after washing and drying. <laughs> wow, that's a trick. Towels, socks, or t-shirts. And the parents, besides playing this game, I really enjoy playing games that I, that I have. Dice, minifigures, timers. What in the world? I don't have any games with them. Games with them? I really enjoy playing games that have, oh, that have dice, that have minifigures, or that have timers. Beat the parents. Ask the kids, if I were to choose a scenic location for a picnic, I would go to the beach, the mountains, the river. Well, they don't have mountains. I might go to the beach. I'd probably say the beach. If I, ask the parents, if I had to do my homework in colored pencil, I would choose pink, green, or purple. These are good little cards, eh? Ask the parents. At an ice cream shop, the flavor I am most likely to choose would contain chocolate, fruit, or the color blue. The fruit with the color blue. My favorite place to walk it to is your school. Oh, yes, I remember that. The ice cream store on my bed. I remember that. Love them anyway. I remember when I used to go to Abe's school and his kids did watch all the videos. And they would come and they would have campfires in the teepee. Look, car is going past my teepee. Now where's that telephone pole? I did. I've been cleaning it this morning. Look at, see that telephone pole right there, that black thing? Down at the bottom is the teepee. See that round thing? That's a circle that's on top of the teepee. Baffle. Isn't that cool? I can sit here and I can watch the traffic. And I can and see who stops and looks at the TP affair. There used to be, see there's a pond there, that's Serenity Dippity Pond. See that's Grandma's Cottage, which used to be called the Gypsy Cabin. And that white stuff, that's all Serenity Dippity Pond. Look at this, this whole thing this, yes, we should have a game night here. 
this whole thing is um, overgrown. Like this tree didn't have branches in the way before. But once upon a time, right at that far corner, this is on an angle. So there's a corner there, a corner here, a corner here, and a corner there. And that was where I saw the first beaver I ever saw. I was so surprised there was a beaver there. Hey, look, I see smoke. Willa must be stoking the wood stove. At my age, it's bed and ice cream. <laughs> oh, look at all the smoke going down. Mmm. He's stoking it. Except I didn't hear it. Look at Chickadee. Chickadee dee dee dee. Where'd he go? Oh, I put some food down there under on the shady under the shady deck for them. You know what? I can I can put them I can give them some food up here. I used to spend a lot of time up here and I have a a bird feeder kind of thing here. And then I can put the, it's hung up there with a, a cord that's no longer any good. One of those phone cords. Isn't that cool? So this is a good place to sit. I'd like to have a little bit of a deck out here where I could go out. I think that would be nice. So I should put some sunflower seeds in there. And this is the little basket that I was in the middle of making when I stopped. It's dandelions. Or actually, that doesn't look like dandelions, does it? Those look like irises. Not irises. Um, daylilies. Dandelions are thinner. These are very brittle. Oops, see how brittle they are? But if you wet them, then you can use them. One day, when I feel like it, this rug is my grandmother's, and I was thinking of putting it down on the floor here. Ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Whatever. I started making this. This is a scroll saw, and I was trying to cut out this this little thing oh wait. Well, anyway I couldn't cut it out because this my little thing broke now I can't get it out and I can't get this out either the end of it broke off See if the bottom is still attached in its place, how do you get it out? Can you push it all the way down? Anyway, I was trying to, I've already gone around this part. Anyway, that's another job for another day. I wonder if this would help if I turned it. I could reach under and I could unhook it. Ah, there, it's unhooked now. And I could take it right out, sort of, and then I could remove this. This doesn't come, oh, there it goes. There we go. There, I did it. See, so one day this will be finished. Ha, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, that's what this is about. This used to sit on the table. But I need to put in a new a new piece there. As you can tell. Anyway. Oh, there's the new ones. Huh, I could almost do it now, but I don't feel like it. These papers should all go. Yes, it is unplugged. It's just come over here from the other side of the room. There, look at that. Isn't that better? Yes, indeed. 
paperwork. Paperwork to sort through. And what's this? These are seeds, I believe. Craft in America, no. Oh, this is um, this is wild lettuce. Wild lettuce is a good painkiller. Bags go on here for garbage. This piece goes to the top of the wall in my bedroom. In the bedroom, I should fix it up. And these little things, they should go in storage. Uh-oh, it seems like I'm cleaning now. Here is the storage where everything goes. See, I have a light over here somewhere up there. See, this is Maya's room. Isn't it nice? There's some toys for her. I, I like to keep all the toys in Desmond's room because Maya usually plays in there with all the toys. They should probably go in Maya's room because Desmond doesn't play with the toys much anymore. Has different people from all over that do different crafts like basketry along with the other projects. That's why we love you so much. Oh, bless your heart. Creative Nancy. It is gorgeous. There's I have a, a cool place in here. This chair is supposed to be beside this window. And then I open the window and I put my hand with sunflower seeds in it. And I feed the birds there. Let's do that. Let's move it around. These are toys that Maya does not know about yet. New toys. Gifts. Oh, you want to hear this? <laughs> he even moves his mouth. Isn't that cute? So I think these mountains go with the dinosaurs. And that's also the, the toys, the soft toys go in there too. I'm making great progress on this house, you know. It's much better. This goes, I think this goes on here. I get these things from the dump, you know. Previously loved. And I think this goes under here somewhere. Or, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a purse. And this goes to the the kitchen. Those things can go in the other room. It's really neat having little grandchildren come over. It's amazing. They see the world so nicely. Yeah, I, I saw that video today and I shared it with a bunch of folks. Got all these dog chew toys <laughs> for the kids. Somebody I knew made a lot of those toys out of cardboard. Wouldn't that be nice to furnish the house with cardboard? I'm saddled up. 
Look at this. Isn't that funny? So, if I put my chair back in the corner... This kitchen was Maya's at her house, and then she, um, her mom had too much toys there, so it came over here. And naturally, there's dirty dishes from me. And a nice little staircase. What a great little house this is. That could go like that. If it would stay there. Or maybe it goes under here. Something like that. Okay, so we'll push this out of the way. Oh no, this comes over here. And this can go out of the way. Yes, the reuse center is great. It's open tomorrow. Maybe I'll take you tomorrow. Well, I'll have to... It won't have internet, so... I'll have to um, video it and upload it later. What's under here? Oh, yes. The piano. This is a very cool piano. This should go on Desmond's floor. to get under there and remove what's ever keeping this drawer from going under. It's a great little piano. You step on it and it makes music, but I think the batteries might not work right now. Or they may. Okay, look at this. We're getting there. Ah, lipstick. Maya and her lipsticks. I put these things in the drawer in the bathroom. She has her own drawer. Well, it's not all hers, but anyway, she can play with the stuff in there. Zane likes coming over here and playing. Okay, so if we close this down. So I think these are Christmas, which I never used this year. And this is books and toys. I just go to Desmond's room. Go in the bookshelf. Remember all those times you had to clean up after your children? Millions of things to be cleaned up. Hi, Nan. Nice to see you again. Okay, so, how should this work? Mm. 
Maybe he could go in the other room. Might be more room for him. Maybe he should sit here. Place of honor. Make him sing again. Maya used to love him. Oh, no, she was afraid of him. Or was it Desmond that was afraid of him? This needs to go back on. I don't know if it's going to work on anymore. Oh, look, it's a zip thing. Or a... Oh, I know, this COVID thing. I couldn't see them for the longest time. Let's see if I can put this, this thing on under his, under his feet. There we go. Uh-oh, I think it was it's on backwards. Just a moment. You're saddled up and ready to go. Have you got COVID now? So this pretty little thing is in the way. I think this one, ooh, oh dear. I could go there. Oops. And this could go here. And I think this ladder should come down. Unless I want to climb up there, put something up there. That's where all the papers are going to go eventually, I think. Perhaps. There we go. There. Goes on like that. And this thing has thing to clip on, so it probably goes under somewhere here. I have to see where it goes. No idea. Okay, so there we go. This could go over here further. Maybe it could go here. I gave the rest of this toy away. I should probably put them all together and get rid of the rest of them too. Is that fastball. These don't go in here. This is Abe's old laptop too, isn't it? deal. Does it work? Does any of it work? And if it does work, where should it go? Shouldn't be in here, I don't think. Ah, oh, but it fits so well. This is quick rolled oats. It appears to have a lid on it. It's not open though. Let's take the lid down and use it on the one in this kitchen. Look at how quick that goes down. Perfect. Oh, look. 
Now then, do we have a light bulb? Look, we have a light bulb. Let's plug it in. Is it plugged in? It is plugged in. Is it screwed in tightly? No, maybe it doesn't work. Imagine a light bulb that doesn't work. Used to be able to just shake it to know if it didn't work. This doesn't work either. Huh. All right, we'll try it in a different one, then we'll know. Because obviously this one works. That one works. Just check it out. My daughter in law gives one son's clothes to Desmond. <coughs> nope, it does not work. All right then. What well, those up there? Looks like one is missing. Is that a... Oh, that's a... Yes. Okay, let's go get some light bulbs. These stairs need help. Hi, Willem. Hey. Compose, compose. <laughs> Oh yes, bird food, thank you. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. I don't smell it. Ugh, laundry. More laundry. I did put the pillow, those things over there. This needs to go outside. Oh, there's still more in it. Still haven't finished unpacking. Okay, well, we're not unpacking right now. This can go, though. And this is supposed to be measuring. Willem, help me put the... Oh, I gotta do all that, too. This is supposed to be for measuring that cupboard up there and make, cutting that thing. Bird food, you say? Yes, indeed. Bird book goes there somewhere. What was the other thing? Light bulbs and bird food. I fed them out here. Well, hello, little red squirrel. How are you today? Let's see if this is unfrozen yet. A little bit. I don't want to rip it up much. Okay, let's get some things. Now you're going to go re refresh. Got to close this in case the raccoon decides to come out of hibernation. I put all those things that had bugs in them out here to freeze, kill the bugs. Maybe I can sort it. Who knows? Oh, and I put, I used that stuff. I put it in the hole in the side of the car. Okay, so we need this, and look, the cupboard doors are back on, except we lost the screw. The top screw is missing. Anyway, so this is going to go up, and this is going to go down. This is bent, so that goes in the garbage. In the garbage, I said.
Now let's check these, see if we have, yes, we have this can which needs a lid. This is dried apples. So Marie, how, where did you get all your bags and bags of stuff to dry? I mean, dried stuff. Let's check. This has been done for three hours. Onions. Oh, I need a lid for that. Should I wash a lid for it? I did wash the dishes. Look at that. Impressive. Where's that lid? Here's. Here it is. So let's check it out. Ooh. Looking good. Let's squish it with that squisher thing. Isn't that a cool, cool item? What do you use it for? Well, this is what you use it for. Oh my, I have lots of food in here today. There's cabbage, and there's onions, and carrots, and buttercup squash. and lentils, and spices and garlic, some ginger, some Jamaican seasoning. Oh, it's quite hot. Well, we're going to have to do a lot of eating today. That's a lot of food. You got to see the finished product. All right, so it's in a instant pot. Oh, more cookies. Mm. Okay, we're gonna do the light bulbs now. These are tablecloths that go in the drawer. Hold it, but I need two hands. Okay. Brace yourself. Okay. A light bulb. And we need another light bulb. In case one doesn't work. Nope, the squash shell broke down. Good, you get the bowls and spoon. We got enough for everybody. goes back in here. This goes back on top. Does that one work? There's two light bulbs there. They're both working.
How did that one turn on? Oh yeah, we're here. Look at that. Ha! Let there be light. And then we'll put this one in here. These were in there, so they've been opened and used, and maybe they might not work. Or maybe they were in something. Ah, look, it does work. Perfect. This can't go there. Because it'll be too close. Oh, this is where I got these skirts from. Raja Fabrics. Wedding. This is an Indian place. I don't know if you can buy it online. Raja, R-A-J-A Fabrics dot C-A. Tweenies. What are you talking about? So this bag goes downstairs. As does this bowl. We won't throw it down the stairs. Not this time. Okay, let's check all the light bulbs in here. Since I have one extra. Those work, that works, that works. Oh, look, I need light bulbs. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, this one doesn't work. Two down. Just go in the garbage bag. Okay, and then let's feed the birds. Smells interesting outside. Chickadee dee dee dee. Chickadee dee 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 dee. There we go. You know where I should put that? I should put it outside that window where I can feed them with my hands. Boy, these windows are filthy. Hmm. Okay, this goes downstairs. Let's go back in here. Now, I used to have a hook under here. My hook is gone. I should put in a new hook. I could take this out. this behind the bed for springtime. Okay, and then I can put food in my hand. Sit out here, chickadee dee dee dee. Hey, you know where else I could put the food? I need a hook. Hook. Hook, hook, hook. So here is also a place to feed the birds. And so you can sit on the bed or lie on the bed uh, and then put your hand out here and feed the birds. Now this is this screen has problems. 
but I could put food in there. The squirrels can't get this one. See, it's got a hook. Let's go get some food for them. Okay. And we'll get a hook, okay? Food and a hook. Food and a hook. Bird 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 food and a hook. Do they come? Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. These bags have to go in the car, otherwise they'll never get used. Bird food and a hook. Sorry for all the wiggling. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. See, this is much better in here now because I got rid of all those containers of juice. Bird food and a hook. 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 Hi, little chickadees. Okay, bird food and a hook. Bird food. Chickadee dee dee dee. Council. Bird food. Looks like it's time to get bird food. And a hook. Bird food and a hook. Those bags can go to the car. Bird food and a hook. This doesn't need to be here anymore. And these should go over here. This should go in the thing, and these can also go over here. And this goes outside for the deer food. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Put that there, put that there. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Put this away. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Hello, how are you little red squirrel? Bird food. And a hook. Bird food and a hook. Deer food. I'll put some more deer food out there. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. So you've got it, eh? Bird food and a hook. And don't take anything for the fever, because the fever will kill the kill it. Let's put this out here for the the deer. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Bird food. I've got to cut that to fit that thing too. So I put some here, but I think it's too close for them. I think they would rather 
hey, some, some snow. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Hi, dear. It's just bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Oh, I'm sorry she's sick. My two daughters had it, and they were both quite sick. A hook. Got the bird food. Now we need a hook. This should probably go in the bird food and hook. This should go in the compost bin. They would like to eat this box. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Don't hit the door. You'll hurt yourself. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Oh, roses are coming. Good. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. These could go in the drawer. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Now, a hook. A hook, look at that. Okay. Now I'll probably need something to twist it with. So let's get, let's get this. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Hi, Rose, you're back. Bird food and a hook. Bird food and a hook. Okay, so we'll put some bird food out here. We'll put the hook in first. We don't have anything to hang from it though. All right. Hey, it's only zero out. I could wash windows today. These windows are filthy too. Now, where is that hole? Huh. Where is the hole? There it is. Just have to not let the folk fall down on the ground. Doesn't really go into anything, but whatever. pretty strong. Okay, we have a hook. We have bird feed. Now we just need a feeder. Let's get that feeder from Desmond's room. Because I don't really do that too often. Lie on the bed there and feed the birds. And I can move it back if Desmond comes over. So we've got bird food and a hook. Now we'll put the bird feeder thing on here, on the hook. Okay. Chickadee dee dee dee. Chickadee dee dee dee. I probably don't need that much, but the the chick, the whatever they are, can't come here. Chickadee dee dee dee. Dee 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 dee. Chickadee dee dee dee. There you are. Chickadee dee dee dee. Chickadee dee dee dee. 
have to work on that teepee. That entranceway is waiting. Waiting patiently. Chickadee dee dee dee. Maybe I just need to create a big fat door to fit that entrance. All right, there we go. So we'll wait for the chickadees and I will see what you got. <laughs> With the ease of a gazelle. Bless you, Rose. Yes, yeah, Susan, don't get sick. Your husband brought it in the house. What was that? Oh, the COVID. Yeah, I haven't gotten COVID. I did have a scare about the COVID. You haven't eaten in two days, so I ate today. My tummy said thank you. That's good. The the adage, feed a fever and starve a cold, is actually that if you feed a fever, you will have to starve a cold. So your fever will get a... You won't get better from your fever if you distract it. Well, the glass teepee, this is the, there is no more glass teepee, right? It's been removed. It was out there on the driveway. See how big those trees got? They were saplings when I planted them. So that's the teepee with a few windows in it. That window's broken, which is becoming a problem. Um, the soup is in a instant pot. I videoed it and smashed it all up together. It looks amazing. So everybody needs to get a bowl and spoon and we can have soup. <sighs> I'm a little worn out. Look at all I did. I hung up the feeder here. This is really good. I'll turn it around. Yeah, so don't take anything for you. Yes, you should have an Instant Pot. It's so simple and it's so fast because it pressure cooks everything. You only have to cook it for like six minutes. Yeah, well, if you're if you're good with your slow cookers, that's great. But slow cookers take a lot, a lot, lot longer. This, this is done in like it takes a few minutes to pressure it, to heat it up to pressure, and then a few minutes to cool down so you can open it. But it's so safe. There's no problem at all with this pressure cooking. Eat soup and sit in the teepee and have grill talk. That would be good. I could do that. But I'm not sure how well my internet works outside. It's kind of crappy lately. I always used a pressure cooker like to make beans. I used to make a lot of soybeans and different kinds of beans. That's going to be really yummy. Look, so I finished it. I got this room rearranged. Now they can still play with the kitchen and the dollhouse. I want that fit there. I don't want to break it. I will pretend. Good. Your hubby does not. What? Let's go see what it says. You love beans. Ah, yes. Beans, beans. The more you eat, the more you toot. Oh, wait a minute. How does that go? Beans, beans. Fruit. More you toot. Like church, bean dinner, music to follow. <laughs> church supper, right? Bean, church supper. What have I got on here? I have wrecked myself. What did I do? Isn't it nice that our bodies heal? Unlike plastic things. That's a good bean song, isn't it? Eat beans with every meal. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat beans. I don't remember that. This is such a pretty view. Let's look at this view. It's more pretty than looking at me. But look at this window. It's all dirty. Look at all this. Yuck. I could, I could wash this window, you know. Got to do something while we talk. I might as well wash the window. Yes, I love beans too. Look at all the dirt on that window and that window. Oh my gosh. So, where's my vinegar and water? I know where it is. It's beside the cupboard, but I can't do it now because I'm too tired. My back hurts again. 
Isn't that an amazing deck? Can you believe it? Yes, I'll just sit and we can look out here and wait for the chickadees. Let's let's ask the chickadees to come again. Chickadee dee dee dee. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Chickadee what's that hanging on the tree? What did I put over there? Sometimes when I was in the woods cleaning up I found things and hung them on the tree. You make good red beans and rice. He hates rice. Yeah, you should have us over for supper. Yes, my feet are resting. Oops. I'm sitting in this chair. This is the best chair. A lot of my videos were made from this chair. And that window, before I made it bigger, it can't it couldn't go up any higher because the the power is along the wall on the outside, the big huge thing. So that's as close as I could go. And actually when I was cutting out the hole for the window, I cut the little plastic casing just a little bit. This is Elida painted this for Maya when they lived here. She didn't have a lot of time, so it's kind of imperfect, you know, but it's great. She did it. Ah, Maya used to love purple. Now Maya says she doesn't like purple. Those barrels over there are the best. I really should put them in the main room, empty them out, and clean the floor in the main room. That really needs to be done. I really need to wash my floors. If I were to wash the floor in the upper room, which is the big room over there, so you used to have windows there looking outside, but we had to get rid of them because now there's a room in there. Imagine. Chickadee-dee-dee-dee. Dee-dee-dee-dee. I can't believe how tall those trees are. Isn't that amazing? 25 years of them growing. Probably wasn't 25. Probably it was 20. You can count the, the things. See at the very top of the tree? Where is the top of the tree? How come I can see it, but you can't? Huh. Well, anyway, in a tree, every year they put out new growth. So, where's my finger? So this bunch here, all that from that joint is new growth in 2021. And from here to here, so next whorl, that would be 2020. And then from there to this. So what you can do, see this is the new growth there, that little top bunch. It does that every year. So you can count one, two, and you can go all the way down the tree and see how old it is. You see, so this one will be, where is the main stem of this tree? I can't tell. Oh, that's the top. There it is. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. This is just an apple, a phone. Six, I don't know, it gets a little confusing after that. <clears throat> Thanks to have you with me. This is quite nice. Oh, the smell is so fresh, the nice cool air. I used to put the food in my hands and put my hand out the window, and they would all come. Look at that teepee down there. Yes, I have to try out the teepee with my with my video. With my, I think I was able to use the internet. But you know what would be best if I just took my, if I took my laptop down there. You know what? I have a really long cord for um, a LAN. Is that what it's called? The cord that plugs into your internet and into your Wi-Fi, into your router. I bet it's long enough that I could plug it in in the house, run it out the window, out Willem's office window, and down the deck into the teepee. And then I could have, I could have a video down there, a live video in the teepee. I have to really want to. Plenty of vitamins and beans makes them good for your immune health too, to help keep your immunity too. Green beans and green peas too, also very good for you. And scrambled eggs. The best is nettles. Nettles. Drink nettle tea all the time. Hmm. 
I got a lot of things done. I cleaned up this room. I moved the chair around. And I fixed the little horse, his saddle. And I did the... I did the light bulb. I should turn the light on. I like lights. Yes, did I not tell you about nettles yesterday? You might not have been here. So nettles are weeds that grow in farmyards, round barns and things like that. And they're tall and they're stinging, stinging nettles. You can, if you know of any farms or anything, you harvest them in the summer and you use gloves because they will sting your hand. But if you do get stung, if you can use jewelweed, jewelweed usually grows near nettles. Jewelweed, there's another name for it. I don't remember what it was. Oh, touch me not. Is that it? Is that what jewel need is? Ah, yes, in the woods part. Right. So the thing that stings you, you can eat that. So you cut it off at the st at the bottom at the stem. I have these long clippers. Oh, you can. Do you think you get them at the organic food store? Perhaps this smells so good. I miss sitting up here by the window. Yeah, so on the farms, it will grow, and it's organically grown, and you don't have to, you don't have to, yeah, they do hurt, so you have to, um, you have to, you have to cut them at the bottom, and then you group them together, and you hang them up, hang them up tie something around them with a loop on. You know, make one of those quick loops. Remember the knots we made? What is that regular knot called? It's the knot we always make. Well, you just make a slip knot or something. This is fresh, cool air. Hmm. It's nice. I wonder if the heater's on in here. It's on in the other one. Chickadee! Chickadee dee dee dee! Chickadee dee dee dee. They have so many places to go now. But the squirrels can't get. Oh, yes, the squirrels can get here. They can climb up the wall because it's now wood. It's cedar. And we didn't paint it or anything. Oh, she came and left. And here you are. Nice, you're back. So we're telling Rose about nettles. So you hang them up. And then when they dry, hang them up inside. And when they dry, you put a big paper bag over them. And then you, when you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what the children do, don't they? They just keep tying and tying and tying, but there's no knot in it. You never hear anything from the neighbors anymore. But I see they've got a light on in their house. You see there's a little light on in there somewhere. I think that might be a living room light. It's quite a large house. It was much bigger than ours when we moved here. And they had three children, who no, two children, and they've moved away, of course. And up on the top of the hill, they had three children who've also moved away. Sometimes I notice, you know, in the morning, I always look over there and see if there's lights on in the house. And when we go to bed, they, I see their lights go off early and ours stay on later. And I, you can see which lights are on, which lights are off. Oh, they're up. They're in the kitchen. Oh, they're in the bedroom. Oh, no, everybody's sleeping. You can't see any houses from your house, eh? So you're right in the woods. That's nice. Upstate New York is very pretty. Are you anywhere near the, um, in the mountains, the Appalachians? What's the name of that range? Adirondack. The Adirondacks. I used to take Road 12. I would go south on 81, and then I would go... Oh, you're in Wisconsin. Oh, it's Timmy that's in upstate New York. She's the one that had the doctor's appointment yesterday. She's, is she the native? I think so. Um, yeah, they're our age, not older. Well, I guess they've got white hair now. I guess does that mean you're older? It's weird, eh? Changing, changing generations... This weird. I was listening. To, I was reading comments yesterday. Five years ago, I had written something about not fitting in in my crowd anymore, and and people would look at me, and you could see it in their attitude and their face that you were old. And 
So there's this one person that's young. You have hills. Oh, yes. But you have lots of water. Is that right? Or is that Minnesota? Somebody just commented. Jas the Shrimp commented. I-E-T-Y-S-M. You're awesome. So they must have watched some video, but not this one. What does this say? I worry when the power goes off and we are snowed in. We have no DSL or phone. We live on a big hill. That's nice. Basics organic food stores. Hmm. So nettles have ten times the vitamins of spinach. And the seeds are edible. You can use them for protein. And if you if you harvest them, you want to see more pictures from my travels? Well, that's another day. I have to go downstairs. Don't want to go downstairs. I really like it here. This is we used to live here a lot. This was our place before we renovated. Willem and I, I had no, I had bad hips, and so I loved this chair, and I would sit in it. It reclines really well, and it comes out like that. I had to adjust the head thing because it was trying to push my head forward, and I don't like that. You're ready to move back to town with support. Hmm. I think that I don't really want to move to town ever. Maybe I do sometimes. Sometimes during COVID, I miss people. Like when I go to town or to the city, when I go to Ottawa, and there's so many cars and so many people. Like we went to Vancouver for two weeks, and we did a lot of walking. We were right downtown. And that was so interesting. I mean, there were people everywhere. So many people. Yeah, the seeds have nettles for protein. Yeah, and you can also eat the rest of the weeds, the the red red rooted pigweed and the lamb's quarters. Yes, you probably will need hope and help. Do you you don't have children? Is that what you said? Was that you? One more year, your house will be paid off, and you can move to the suburbs. Yeah. Have you got room to have somebody come and move in with you? A good friend? No children. Yeah, that that's difficult then, isn't it? My son has already said, well, his wife, who's from Pakistan, well, she's never lived there, but she was born and raised in Saudi Arabia. Oh, it is paid off. Good. Ours is paid off, too. Thank you, Mom. I really appreciated my mother taking care of her, you know. It was really nice of her to pay things off. Yes, wild lettuce for pain. It's very good. It's it's not addictive, but it is from the opioid family. And you just make tea with it. Now, it has little yellow flowers, and they bloom in the fall. The autumn. I don't like calling it fall. And um, they're kind of tall plants. They're weeds. Nobody cares about. But if you identify them, look them up identify them. I've got a lot of seeds. They turn, they like little tiny dandelions all over them and they turn white and puff out and fluff away. But that's, it's supposed to be, it's an opioid. So it's the sap that's in it, the white milky stuff inside, but the leaves work too. I haven't really, I should probably um, spend more time I should probably spend more time to figure it out. Oh, you can have some of your kids. Oh, what a nice idea. Yes. Do you ever have pets or chickens? I did. Are you asking me? Are you asking Susan? Anyway, I had chickens here and turkeys. And we used to have a big dog named Chucky. And we had, my daughter moved to Germany, and she left her four cats with me. Like, I'm allergic to cats. Anyway, you know how kids are. Yeah, look into it. Yeah, it's good for pain, and it's not addicting, and it's an opioid. So, you may have to use a lot. It depends on how bad your pain is. I have some downstairs. I should make tea out of it and see. I, I've used it. 
I haven't really used it too much for pain. And I do, I was drinking it a lot. 14 chickens. Yes, you could probably grow wild lettuce. It's wild, so, and it has, the leaves look like dandelions, you know, in and out and in and out and in and out. Well, chicory looks like that too, but wild lettuce does. But the leaves are longer and it's a tall plant. It grows a couple feet tall. At least it does here. Everybody's climate and moisture is different, so I'm not sure how it will work out there. But Google it and look up, ask for images of it, and you'll see what it looks like, and then just keep your eyes out for it. I harvested a whole lot this summer, this autumn. You know, I think I'm going to wash these windows. Wouldn't that be nice? Those windows look so good outside, downstairs now. It's going to be a bit of work. My back hurts. Ugh. Yeah, a guide is good to help you find stuff in the woods. I have a friend down the road, Frank. He's in a lot of my videos. He used to be. I should go see, see him. He's kind of a hermit. He used to have llamas. And he named his llamas after stars, the constellations. I helped him. It was fun. He used to have big bonfires and we used to go over. He's a hoarder. So his driveway, all along the driveway on both sides, he's got these huge piles of things like microwaves and wash machines and fences. And You found some cool mushrooms? Um, so hold on. But it has a milky substance that you use or the leaf. I'll look it up. I used the whole thing. I had Willem dehydrate them. He has, he's in charge of the dehydrators. It's neat that he has a project like that. Otherwise, he's always on the computer. So in the summer, he's in the garden, and he's harvesting stuff a lot. Yes, you need a picture book. Or just look on the, on the Internet and take a photo of it with your camera. And then go looking for them. But, but look them up. There's a lot to learn about them. And it's a sap, and so you probably have to use a lot to get, you know, if you have really bad pain. If you could harvest just the sap, that would be good. Maybe you could juice it. Get it fresh and juice it, and then the sap would come out. And I really don't know about the dosage. It's one of those things that I'm learning about. Isn't it fun to learn things? I love learning new things. We went to these, all these, um, took a book of the pretty mushrooms, scared to eat anything in the woods because I don't know stuff. It just came from your poncho video and saw your live. Hi, Jas the Shrimp. I was just saying, oh, look, Jas the Shrimp has just made a comment. It came in on my feet across the top. So we were talking about uh, mushrooms. And so... There's some common mushrooms that are good, like they grow on trees. There's um, the oyster mushrooms, they grow in layers. So there'll be like 10 mushrooms all connected there, you know, and they could come out quite a, quite a bit, you know. They can come out four inches from the tree and maybe six inches high. You only learn on my videos. So just the shrimp. Nice to meet you. So we have here a few folks that, uh-oh, low power mode I had to turn on. Not again. If it dies, I'll have, I'm, I could bring a, a thing and plug it in in here. <sighs> All these things about the wires. You have to go and sit in a certain chair in a certain place. So there's a few good mushrooms. So there's oyster mushrooms and... Um, they're on the trees. What does reek, reek, reek mean? That's different. I never heard reek, reek, reek before. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it because otherwise nobody can play with each other anymore. Hello from Canada, too. Hi, Willem. I'm still making live videos. Hi. Would you bring me up in the... Um, it's looking at me. Um... Oh, scary music. Um, in the beside the wash machine, 
where the washing machine soap goes is a green squirt bottle. Would you bring it and, a, and some newspapers to me? Okay. Please. Thank you so much. It's always nice to get a little exercise, isn't it? All right, so we'll take this one. That's not very long. Willem, before you come up, there's also a brown extension cord that you rolled up somewhere, put on the table or something. Could you bring that for me too? And all the things that are attached to it? Thank you so much. This is still hot. No, that's not even hot. Hey, you know what? My uh, hiccups went away. He's so nice. Okay, so we're gonna do these windows. So some of the windows can be done from the inside. Oh, we have to plug you up first. Plug you up, plug you up. I wonder which paintings these are. My grandfather did that one. This one was from my parents' living room. They gave it to Charles, and then when Charles died, I can't believe my brother died. Oh, and that's my mother's favorite one. She didn't like red flowers. Oh, and that's the one that was always on there. Vinegar cures hiccups, or pickle juice. Here the chair there. Oh, thank you so much. Which chair? Oh, in the other room. Thank you, Willem. I'm gonna wash the windows now. Which chair? Oh, there they are, thank you. Oh, um, the green container? That didn't come up. Oh, it's over by the phone. Thank you so much, Willem. Notice how clean it is up here? I'm in the big, I'm in Maya's room. See how clean it is upstairs? And Desmond's room is clean. Thank you so much, Willem. If you feel like playing the piano, I'm sure that many people would like it. Thank you. Look at that, you're plugged in now. Okay. Hey, where's that thing? Where'd you put it? Oh, there it is. I got it. Now, you are magnetic on the back here, so... We'll start with this window. We have a lot of things we could do in here. That's my daughter's. Okay, so we're gonna put this. Oh, listen, he's gonna you get to hear music while you watch me wash the windows. Nice, eh? So is this the way? No, it goes this way. Let me see if I can look at that. This is perfect. Wait a minute, you're facing the wrong way. I know, it's so clean now. Isn't that amazing? Okay.
Too. Look at the snow falling down there. Can you see the snow? It's sliding right down there. Isn't that cool? Look, it's snowing. We have snow. We gotta get that snow blower fixed. Alright, so. that with this stuff in here. So I use vinegar and water and I fold the paper like this you use one side for each part, but you have to kind of hold on to it like that. side first again. Living in the country, you get a lot of dust from the road. We have dirt roads here. Thank you for inspiring me, you guys. Just coming, all the people that come here, it makes me feel so good that Well, I guess these were all new windows, and so some of the paper, the tape is still on from the labels. I guess those are on the outside, aren't they? What's happening here? This is Ravel, I think. I wonder if that was 
I'm so glad you got up early. I didn't get on here very early today, though, did I? I think I, my son videoed me. <clears throat> He's in Vietnam, so of course, you know, I spent time. this piece. Isn't it beautiful? Clap, 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 clap. Thank you. His fingers hurt. So he can't play as much as he used to. Well, it's clean, sort of, except this part there. Oh, that one's pretty 
pretty much done. Haha, -ha, look at that. Okay, so now we'll move on to the next window. Oops, sorry. I know, we'll put you this way on the fan again. like spring cleaning, isn't it? Oh, stuff I've been doing. Hey, what are you looking at there? Did I make you look at the wrong thing? You're on looking the wrong way. Sorry about that. I don't seem to want to stay on there either. Okay. Next. This used to be our summer room, our winter bedroom. Let's sit up here in the winter because the heat rose. But then I started feeding the deer. Making progress, eh? I'll have to read your comments after. These are very dirty windows. Unbelievable. Paint. I think that's from my painting it years and years ago. have that little razor blade thing. Willem is working on his compositions, composing this piece. Oh, 
a piece. I'm so glad I've got this cleaning bug. It's like the snow plow. Come out, I thought. Maybe. <laughs> that will make the turkeys gobble if you make this sound. to take these windows out. Maybe not. so quiet over there. I feel like you guys should be making noise or talking or something. I guess you have to get up on a ladder now to do this. Well, so that part is still dirty. What a difference though, eh? So did it warm up there in Wisconsin or you still have that terrible cold that we had yesterday? Oh, isn't that beautiful? What a difference. Of course, the only trouble with doing it is that your hands get very black.
finish it. Now yeah, this stuff will come off with vinegar and water. Oh look, it does. Oh wow, this must have been washable marker. Oh, but it turns it black with this stuff. This works. Nope. Is it plugged in? Nope. Maybe yes, but it's not working. Oh, look, it is. It's all. Washable marker. Look at that. All right, where's some more newspaper? Do we have another piece? Can you see it outside really nicely now? That must be pretty. Children, eh? It's time to sit down and take a break. Washable markers, but you have to wash it. It doesn't work if you don't bother to wash it, right? Okay, this is getting a little difficult. Medium. Not completely washable. Maybe you have to use soap and water. However, it did get if I turn it off. We'll do it another time. Okay. I'll get out of here and push the bed back and then bring you over. Isn't that beautiful out there? Whoa, that's really nice. Okay. This is Elida, so I think I'll throw it down the stairs. Two windows are clean. You're welcome. Not my hands. Here, you upside down now? Look at that. 
We did it. We did it. You can see your photos. Your photo, what the heck? You can see my profile photo. What's going on? Am I logging out a lot on this, whatever it's called? Maybe it takes time to upload a little profile. Oh, I see. You're telling each other where your Facebook pages are. You guys are great. You're having such a nice time with each other. When I'm not being very entertaining. You did? Okay, well, I don't know where to find you. T. Rose. Oh, your YouTube photo. Okay. Okay, let's look at it now. That's much clearer. This one is still dirty. Washing my hands. Yes, indeed. I think this needs to go. This is the gate that was at the top of the stairs. And it fell off, so I think it's time to put it down. What time of tea? I think I had Neville tea and some from my friend. Did I ever finish adding more water to it? So there's an old tea bag here of apple cinnamon. And there's some nettle leaves. And some water. Hey, did you like my hair when I had it? I had it all twisted like this. And then I pulled it back. I tucked it under the other side. And I pinned it under there. So it was part of this clip. Anyway, I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah, nettle tea is awesome. And you can also put the handfuls of nettles in your soup. See, this is what it looks like. And it won't hurt you once you've dried it. It doesn't sting anymore. You should probably take out some of these stems. Okay, let's come back and have a look. See what the progress looks like. See, now I need that little table. And I can push this all closer. There we go. And this sleeping bag is Elida's. I suppose I should give it to her or I'll put it there. Look what we found, a flip phone. I have really gotten quite a bit done today. Really, I have. Oh. <laughs> Good job. No birds yet. I think I'll leave this up here. And then I can refill these. And I have other containers I can use down there. This will remind me to look at them when they're at the window. He's here. Hi, Chickadee. Oh, what a filthy window. I have an idea. <laughs> I could clean it. You don't belong on this side of the room. And this is filthy. You can get shaken out. Oh, we could shake it out outside. finish doing all that. But I'm too busy to do that right now. This is one of the many rugs my mother had in her kitchen. This 
is a rug my grandmother made. Uh-oh, low battery again. Gotta go get plugged in. Reap, reap, reap. She hooked it all by herself. And I have all of her rug hooking stuff. I'll have to do that with two hands. Garbage. Okay, so let's come in here and get cozy on the chair. Maybe this can go a little further out. And then I could put my chair behind my little table close by. Oh, this has four legs. That's a nice table. Most of them have two legs. Did I bring you along the day I made tables? So we need another light bulb for that light. There, look at that nice view now. Nice, very nice. <sighs> the chickadees haven't found this one yet. This is really filthy. Let's get some breeze. We'll suck all the heat out of the downstairs. Okay, so now I have to see what's happening. It's always something aching with me. Have you checked on foods and seen if there's anything you can get rid of pain from foods? Yes, hip pain. Could be sugar. Sugar goes right to your joints. But ibuprofen is good for that pain. Takes your mind off the pain. I got new hips. Should get new hips. You have sciatica and right hip with lower back. Years of being a CNA and strain my body too much. Chicka dee 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 dee. Chicka dee dee dee. Did you hear him fly by? Chicka dee dee dee. I'm reading all your comments now. How far back do I have to scroll? Wow, it's a long way. You can't speak out loud now. I know, isn't that sad? Oh, you're having an awesome conversation, aren't you? Jackson County. Oh, and Owen. Much better than yesterday. I wonder. Oh, 36 here. Oh, that's not bad. Willem's learning Spanish. He watches Spanish videos every day. And it's conversational Spanish. He's got this little thing on his computer he adds new words to all the time. Boy, I hurt my back again. But I have two nice windows to show for it. Wow. Opiates. I'm sorry that you had to get off that. There's nothing good for pain anymore, is there? But I think this wild lettuce has potential. If you can, it's a sap that's the best, but it's in throughout it all, but it'll be much milder. I did make a bunch of it. It's, I have it downstairs. I should bring it up here and use it for tea. So, how did you get more of them? Like, my doctors would not even prescribe. Like, when I had my hips replaced, they gave me tramol, tramadol or something. I'm glad you're researching and finding out what helps you. 
I think that our senior years could be a lot better than they are if we took the time to find out what we eat that is making us hurt. So a lot of our hurting comes from that. I know mine does. Of course, it also comes from reaching my arms forward. I get a lot of pain in the center of my back. Yes. Hi, chickadee. Hello. He came right to the little feeder here. You heard him, I guess, didn't you? Chickadee dee dee dee. Well, he's got some here, and he's also got some at the next feeder. It's a pain clinic. I went off myself now to just find something else that will work without after effects. That's right. Yes. I love them too. They're so tame, aren't they? Everywhere you go, they're tame. You know, when I trained my children well, my 40-year-old son, we were in Vancouver, and there were some birds and some trees, and so he broke up a candy bar. It was a like a, a granola kind of bar. He broke it up and put it on his hand, and the birds, these were like foreign birds, they came right to his hand. Did you hear that little sound far away? The sound of the neighbor's door. Usually you only hear it when they go in and close the door. Yeah, my, I'm in pain. But not as bad as I would be. Have that awesome soup downstairs to look forward to. Look at how filthy this window is still. Can you see how much, how filthy it is? See how clean this one is and how, because uh, that's open, right? Yeah, oh my, if I push through the pain, then I'm in really bad shape. And you, and you have to be careful of too much ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is good for your hip pain. Are you leaving, Susan? Is that why you said you wish us the best? Let's see what you said. Yes, good company. Yes, and being happy. And, you know, it's hard to be happy when you're just by yourself. I mean, you can talk to God and be happy. But but when you're talking to other people, it really is different. You know, like when you're looking in somebody's eyes, when you look them in the eyes, it feels different. It feels like you've been seen. When we used to live up in this room, I would have, Willem had his desk over there. And it wasn't really good for his legs, but naproxen sodium. I'm sorry you got beaten. I think there was a lot of a lot of that going around. I watched some show the other day and I had to turn it off because the guy got out, took off his belt to s whip somebody. Huh, yuck. But I guess that was the day. It was in the South. The name brand. Naproxen. Naproxen, you take it once a day, right? It doesn't do anything for me. I've tried it. But there's two kinds of pain. Like some of your pain is osteo and some is inflammatory. So if you've got inflammatory, if it's in your joints, it's inflammatory arthritis. And you can get rid of that with ibuprofen. Corporal punishment. It was awful. I'm glad they've changed it for the kids now. Um, Yeah, ibuprofen for, oh, for osteo, and that works. See, in, ibuprofen gets rid of inflammation. So if it comes from eating sugar, see, I have osteo now, too. They fixed my hips, so I no longer have inflammatory. And the osteo is the bones, right? You've got DDD.
And yet naproxen does. Is that right? You were the one that said naproxen, Rose? Naproxen and ibuprofen are similar. My daughter has something that she used to get in Germany, but we don't sell it here. I'm not sure why. It's very strong. But. Look, there's dripping happening off the roof here. Right there, drip, drip, drip. Now it stopped. Yes, in your neck. And I guess that's just normal to get them in our backs as we age. Look, did you see the drip coming down? It's very mild out there. I could keep my hand out for hours. Chickadee dee dee dee. Why would they have to come here? They can go to the other side. But at least you found it. They love sunflower seeds. I should do that window there. <sighs> I did that one. That was hard to reach over all those paintings. And these windows don't come apart. I bet they do. I bet I'm just not pushing them up high enough. But then you have to get them back in before it goes back down to negative 26. It was negative 27 here yesterday. That was negative 11 Fahrenheit. All right. Well, we can make a stir. Your daughter, 32, has something with her neck from an auto accident years ago. It's hard to keep everybody straight, you know? I, I, I'm reading all these, and there's three of you, and I'm getting you all mixed up together. I have to make notes. I have to make a chart. I used to do that. I had a page and the name of the person was on the top and all their comments. Uh-oh, I've got to plug you back in. I forgot about that. I forgot about plugging you in. Here we go. Cord coming to the rescue. Okay, now let's put it back in. Okay. Wait a minute, I can't see. I took my glasses off. What did you say? I would really like to hire somebody to clean my house. Wouldn't that be amazing to have somebody come and clean them? Like, could I afford like a hundred dollars a month? Probably. I just not shop. And then they could come in. $100, that's only good. It's $20 an hour here, or maybe more now. But my son pays 15 in Ottawa. And they have this perfectly clean house. But in the hotel, it was interesting because it was a disaster. I would clean their room, like the rooms were adjoining, so it was the living room. And I would go in and put all the boots away and put all the coats, hang the coats up and everything. And mine was always spotless. But, but here at home, my house is a disaster, and theirs is perfect. The Wisconsin Friends of Nancy Club. <laughs> I feel as older people need more dialing in on. Nobody should ever have to live in pain. All three are talking. Oh, you are. Isn't that neat? So how far apart are you? Like, one is from Owen, you said, but I forget where. I mean, I don't know much about Miss Wisconsin. I could go to Wisconsin and visit you all. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be awesome. I used to go visit people on my way to Georgia. I visited them a lot. People in Kentucky and all that. All the way down Ohio and Illinois and Iowa or something like that. Wouldn't that be fun? We could all get together could rent a room and we could all go and stay but we'd have to rent a couple rooms or three rooms or whatever we would wouldn't that be fun we could all get together and have a party just hang out together it'd be fun to get snowed in together I did that with my friend in um, Virginia 
she's really close to Washington, and it was going to snow for a week. It was going to be a big, big storm. So I went and made it in time there so that we would get snowed in together. In fact, I stayed over. What's the Wisconsin Dells? That'd be fun. How far is Wisconsin from southern Ontario or from Ottawa? No idea. Probably a thousand miles, right? Well, I don't know where Midway would be. But you're all welcome to come here. You could all carpool and drive up here. Wouldn't that be fun? And we could play. I have enough bedrooms. I have two extra beds here. We need third bed. I have a cot. But we're old enough. We need proper, proper beds. Oh, I could probably get another bed and put in the big room. That would be enough then. Yeah, and you're not too... You three are all in... Yeah. That would be fun. Ask your Google device how far it is to Ottawa. Got to spray this window or it's not going to get clean. Spray, spray, spray. All right, and then we'll have to... i got some paper here. We'll turn it around, but then I won't see if you... Oh, yeah, I can still see if I want to go to Nancy's. I want a teepee. There are pictures on here of how to build, or videos. It's called Birth of a Teepee. There's a whole playlist on how to make a teepee. And the fabric there is from a, um, it's from a, a company that makes conveyor belts. Al Albany International. And sometimes they have mistakes in it, and so they can't sell it, and so they used to give it away. Now I think they cut it up and they put it in, bail it. I think they didn't like it at the dump because it's slippery and it would mess up. This isn't working. A thousand miles, yes. Well, a thousand miles. So how long does it take to drive a thousand miles? Depends how many people you stop to visit on the way. <laughs> Wisconsin is you're probably further north than me I'm I'm just well if you find on a map where Ottawa is you can see that I'm I'm in commuting distance of Ottawa so I can't say exactly where on here because of my children and grandchildren people have probably figured it out once you know I had a Somebody once sent me a package from Dubai and it came right to my house and I'd never said what my address was, but she figured it out. I think she saw my phone number on a sign. My son had made this cool sign. He had a reliable computer, was the name of his company. So it's 1,062 miles, 14 hours and one minute. Well, that's only a day. Like if I got up at three. That's far from Mississippi. So you're midway. <laughs> this is really filthy. Soak it. Most of the rest is on the outside, I think. I think so. And this is on the outside now, too. 
All right, so I have to reach outside again. Push the chair back. Make room for our arms. Oops, yeah, we'd have to probably stop a lot of times. I used to take my violin and and stop at all the state parks and play my violin. Oops, maybe I have to remove this, but it'll fall out. <clears throat> no, stop falling out. Oops, don't, don't, don't. Okay, let's try the inside. See how much we got off of there. I think I'm gonna have to get the razor. Everything's fun. Okay, so this one is filthy on the outside, but I can't take it apart, can I? Let's see if it'll come out. Nope. Must be a trick. You want a dog? Well, that part's dirty, but the rest is a bit better. <laughs> Willem watches car crash videos. They're very interesting good because then you don't get in accidents so often if you know the pitfalls. Yes, it's also like traveling. You get to watch all these traveling places, see all these different towns without having to go there and drive in them. Mm. Dream Cruise. I think Dream Cruise is a great name. Mm, we can do it too. Mm. Mm. Probably save a lot of time if I went down and got the razor, you know. I'm so glad he's handed all this stuff up to me. So we didn't do the sunroom. That's on my to-do list, if I make a to-do list. I wonder if I can get back behind there. Nope. Well, it's a lot better. Only that part there on the outside is bad. 
Can you really tell? Ah. Okay. All right, so let's see what you've been saying. Oh, you've been wanting to come here for 10 years? How cool. You can come. Roads to Nancy's. Hi, Diane. So we're, they're planning a trip from Wisconsin to come here. I've been washing the windows, cleaning the upstairs bedrooms. See, it all looks so tidy now, except this is very crooked. I have to fix that. But that means I have to pull that corner of that down and go to the other side and pull this down over there. It's a make work project, you know. But I tidied all this stuff up. I've got the little place over there. Oh, I have some awesome dinner downstairs. What time is it anyway? It's five after four. Yep, be getting dark soon. I think somebody said the sunset was at 5.01. Is that right? Is it setting later now? All three of us are from Wisconsin. We've decided it's 1,062 miles. So they're coming. This will be fun, even if we never leave our houses and just live with Nancy through YouTube. You know, it's true. I find that the anticipation is and the planning is more fun than the actual doing it. Because the actual doing it, you have all these little negative things that come up, like your back hurts or, you know, the washrooms along the way are gungy or something. <laughs> I'm getting ready. That's right. This is going to be great. Yes, indeed. I'll have to get another bed for the big room. Actually, I have a I have a cot. Maybe I'll just have to set up the cot somewhere. But that's not nobody our age wants to sleep in a cot. What did you say, Regina? <laughs> oh yes. Diane, I should come and visit you when I go to Connecticut. I do go to Connecticut a lot. He will work for the dog. So what have you been up to today, Diane? Did you have appointments and things? I've just been cleaning. Cleaning and sorting and organizing, and it's looking a lot better. The whole upstairs is coming together. Oh, you'll take the cot. Oh, well then, case closed. I don't have to do anything else. I've got lots of of blankets. I put them all on the, <laughs> just to be here. We could sleep in the teepee if it's the summertime, but summertime we have mosquitoes. Who wants mosquitoes? But Yes, indeed. I have enough swings for us. Well, there's two swings in the house. I guess I need to put up a third swing. We can do that. We can put up a third swing in front of the, in front beside the piano. But we can't bump into the piano because Willem would not like that one bit. That would be forbidden, verboten, verboten. <sighs> I can't believe I did these windows. And that was after I had done all the other stuff. This is so nice to see outside and not see this part here that's not clean from here. You can see all the dirt there. Is dirty from here over, but that's okay because this is blocked. This has got all the reflections from the other window. So you don't really know which is from which window. Oh, Willem's easy going. He wouldn't care. He would be just fine. He's a good guy. He's watching chess downstairs. Thank you, Diane. Was that, oh, it's Susan. Thank you. Cleaning and then a shower. So there you go. It's good to come over here and watch somebody else clean for a while, and then you can go back and clean your own. Hey, look, there's 12 people here. 12 people. Hello, 12 people. Oh, he's watching car crash movies. Car crash movies or videos, and he watches chess. And he, he pauses it so he can figure out what the next move should be. 
I watched it once and I could tell which the next move should be. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, 72. I'll be 72 before you know it. I need some nettle tea right about now. You're washing dishes. There have been 12 people for a long time. A house cleaner. Yes, please. It sounds like he's listening to the... Oh, and you're 65. I'm 66. So we're all... We can be the Crohn's Club. When you're 61. You're such a young thing. <laughs> That's good. I'm in your bucket list. So who else is here? Oathkeeper replied. Oh, wait. That Lancy today, my last comment reply got deleted. I was... Uh, oops. Love the Crohn's Club. Yep. We got to be the old crones. You'll be 62 in July. I think Mary Jane is about that age. I'm not sure exactly what she is. What is he listening to down there? I've been responding to all these comments, and so I'm getting responses to my responses. All these people that haven't watched for a long time. Who, or haven't commented for a long time. Maybe they've lost me, you know. That's easy to do. I have I used to watch things, and I thought they were pretty good, but I've lost them, too. <sighs> now I just watched Survival Lily. And there's another one. Well, I watch all kinds of news YouTube channels. I love Maddow, Rachel Maddow. I think she's so awesome. She does her research, and she figures it out, and she puts two and two together, and... And it's all very understandable. I love listening to her. Oh, you do? I'm glad. I'm always a little afraid of saying certain things because some people watch other things and, you know, there's this war going on. There's, um, picking sides, choosing sides. I don't like that. Anyway, I have a nice view. Look at I'm in this chair again. I love this chair. I love this view. I love feeding the chickadees out here. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to know anymore. Oh shoot, I unhooked it. Uh oh, catastrophe. I have to move forward in the chair, open the window, and somehow do this without it. No. Got forty of my teeth. Okay. Ha. Problem averted. No, I don't share a lot of that stuff. So this won't go closer, will it? This is, that one is just higher than this one. Oh, well. Heavens to Betsy. I used to say that, but it looked, I thought it was on better before. It was even before, wasn't it? How can it be on differently now? Maybe I'll turn this around and I'll turn this around. So I can make it even by doing that. But I think the front is still out further. See, because that part doesn't change. Huh. Oh well. Looks like this is rotting up here. It's time to do some more work. Oh, that hook there. That is for another bird feeder at that window. I like to watch Nancy. I hope tomorrow when we all come back on, we have a great evening and everyone will wake up pain free. Chickadees are fleeing the area. You lost me for a while. I felt something was missing in my life. I won't look you up. I'm a. Who's a fashion maven? Where is Jas the shrimp? Yes. Now you have a low battery. You're 62, love the Crohn's Club. House cleaner, please. All right, I'll let you know when I'm coming to Connecticut, um, Diane. I have, I have relatives in Northwestern Connecticut and I have relatives in middle of no, New, what's the next one up? Hampshire, New Hampshire. Hey, did you see all my footprints I made? Aren't they cool? <laughs> let's see, let's zoom in. 
So you're off. I guess I should get off too. I have to go to the bathroom. Bet you all wondered about that. All that tea we've been drinking. 186 minutes. Hmm. I have the one that actually comes in my bedroom window. It was given to me as a gift. You guys are awesome. Yes, I guess we should go. I have to go down and eat all that wonderful food. And you 14 folks that weren't here for the beginning, feel free to go back and watch it. And remember, whatever happened here, you can do this at home. Results may differ. Tomorrow I think I'll do the other window. If it's warm, cold, warm enough, is it going to get cold again? I may have to go do that other window today. I don't feel like it. Okay, goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye, 14 people. 13 thumbs ups. Thank you very much. <laughs> the more thumbs ups, I think, and the commenting that goes on, I think the more the algorithms put this ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, goodbye. It was nice to see all of you. You know, it's really good. It's bye, Marie. And all those other ones of you. Now I'm going to go sit in my other chair and figure out my Minecraft wall. And let me know if any of you play Minecraft because Minecraft is awesome. I might make a video and call it Minecraft for Seniors. Okay, bye. I love you guys. So I'll get off. Quick, quick, say your quick goodbyes. You can do this at home. Results may differ. And remember, you saw it here last. Bye. Thanks for spending the